What is up guys, this is Zach King, back with another Python uh, video. Now this is the part 2 video for our crypto program with Python and AES encryption for the uh, PyCrypto module. Now in the uh, previous part we wrote the encrypt and decrypt functions along with the required pad function to uh, pad our message before we encrypt or decrypt it. Now we're actually making this as a GUI program. If you haven't watched the last video, I would advise you to do so to uh, catch up. Now this was just a, a thing to uh, show you the encrypt and decrypt functionality. So I can delete that. <clears throat> now to go ahead and get started, let's look at my uh, complete program right here. And the next couple of functions that we're going to write are encrypt file and decrypt file. Now what these are going to do, these are actually going to open the, uh, the file that you choose and uh, encrypt and then write that encrypted form in it and then the uh, opposite for decryption. So I'm going to, uh, let's see, our def encrypt function, our uh, encrypt file function here takes of course the file name and the key because to encrypt it we're going to need the key and um, we're going to need the file name whenever we encrypt it which we will use tkinter later uh, to write a function load text file which actually gets the uh, the text file from the user by opening up a, a dialog box so the way we're going to do all this is through a global variable called file name so let's go ahead and create that now file name equals none because we we don't have a file name yet now def encrypt uh, text file or no def encrypt file we'll leave it at that so uh, let's put a message and key as our parameters now see the first thing we want to do is actually open the uh, the file that was given by the file name um, so we're going to use this version of open though we're going to open the file reading as binary that's what our RB here is and as F so we can refer to our our file with F later such as right here F dot read so let's go ahead and do that with open um, oh not message um, Instead of message, we're making that file. Yeah, file name. Okay, so with open file name and the mode that we're opening it as uh, read as binary, as f, because we want to uh, refer to it as f, that's pretty simple. Uh, it makes it a lot uh, shorter. So, plain text, because, um, because this is where we're actually reading the original text file so you can put all your type all your secret information in and then later we're going to load that text file and use this encrypt file function to uh, do that so plain text equals f dot read okay and then after we read it we need to save this variable of the encrypted uh, message or text then we need to reopen that file um, except we need to add the .enc extension onto the end and we need to open it as write binary instead of read as binary then of course we just write the uh, variable that was uh, storing the encryption so I'm going to say enc the same as my other one equals uh, encrypt and our message which is um, plain text comma because our encrypt function takes a message and key as required uh, the key is going to be our global variable key now we're going to reopen our file name uh, plus the dot enc extension so whatever our file name is say it's um secret dot txt so secret dot text uh, it's going to make a new file called secret dot txt dot enc so uh, comma wb for write binary as f now we're going to say um, 
uh, f dot write enc so this is actually going to create a file and then write the uh, the encrypted string right here inside that file and after that we can uh, go ahead and work on our decrypt file now you can go ahead and do f close on those but it, you you do not have to so uh, let's see def decrypt let me go ahead and save this decrypt file uh, file name key there now with the d file I mean decrypt one it's pretty much the same we're going to call our variables kind of different the uh, major difference is whenever we go to write the text uh, we want to get the file name of the original so uh, if you do it this way the way that you're going to have to uh, to do this is you're going to have to keep your original text file that you have your secret information in but instead of having after you encrypt it and it creates the encrypted file you need to then open up your original file and delete all of its contents and then save it but you need to keep it on your um, on your computer where it was um, with your .enc your encrypted file you need to keep those two in the same place now if you didn't want to do that you could always use a write function kind of like this and you could call it open file name dot uh, I don't know some extension that you want like uh, well well you could just you could give it a file name like the file name plus um, underscore decrypted dot txt or something like that and it would create a new file um, and then write it in there but I'm going to keep mine the way it is so what I do here is I say with open file name and then I did a little bit of slicing to take out the .enc form here so uh, decrypt file with open file name uh, let me see <clears throat> uh, let's see read binary as f cipher text equals f dot read now we can say um, deck equals decrypt cipher text comma key now we can say with open file name colon negative four or minus four and that's going to take out the last four characters which is dot enc uh, as right binary as f colon then uh, f dot right deck so we have now written our encrypt and decrypt file functions so let's go ahead and save that let me change my syntax to view in python because i don't think it is nope no it is huh. okay uh... let me see after we do our functions for doing that we need to write the function to actually load the text file so what this is going to do is use tkinter to get our uh, text file this is our main line that we will be using right here so uh... so what i'm going to do is just copy and paste that in and then i'll explain that <clears throat> okay so and as you can see we need the global key and global file name variables so uh, let me see def we want to call this load file and it's going to take no parameters alright so this is the function that's going to be click or uh, it's going to run when we click load text file so load file colon now we need to make a statement here to say global key comma file name now this line is our tkinter object tk uh, file dialog module ask open file so this is a function that's going to uh, pop up with a little window and it's like a dialog box where you can select a, a file now 
inside this function one of the possible parameters you can include are file types equals and it's actually an array with a tuple inside now inside the tuple you can put um, the the word or the, the string here that's going to display the type of files that you can have and then the next argument that you can put in is the extension that it will show now if you put in something random like a giraffe or something like that it's still going to show it but that's probably not going to help your user very much so as a uh, software development kind of thing you typically want to make it understandable by the user now text file equals tk file dialog dot ask open file and the tk file dialog was a module we imported earlier and uh, after that what we're going to do is take the, our, uh, our text file uh, variable here and get the name of it we're going to see if it's not uh, none so pretty much check to see if the user did select a file and if they did we need to set the global variable file name equal to the uh, selected files name so we're going to say if text file dot name is not equal to none file name equals text file dot name and that's uh, that's it for our load file function now we don't have a whole lot left there's just uh, two more functions we need to write encrypt the file and decrypt the file which make it a little bit uh, simpler for our program to work as far as the actual application and then after that we just have to create a few buttons and uh, and that's all so I will make the third part video showing you these which is the rest of it and we will be finished so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please click the like button if it helped you or if you you just thought it was cool and I'll see you guys next time have a great day